Good morning children. Welcome to the online teaching session. Today we are starting with the chapter Cell Cycle and Cell Division. First we will deal with the cell cycle. What does this cycle means? Cycle means anything that repeats after regular interval of time or anything that is just repeated or that is similar. That is cycle. Now, along with this cell cycle, meaning of cell cycle is period from the end of division of one cell to the division of next cell. Or we can say that cell cycle is a sequence of events from the division of one cell to the division of the same next cell. Or one more definition in a simple way. We can say that when a one cell is start dividing into two, then the event when this cell grows and then it start divides, the whole is called as cell cycle. Okay. So we again, again see, we can, we are simply saying that one cell matures, divides into the two daughter cell. Now, the two daughter cell again mature and they get ready to divide again. This is called as the cell cycle. Now, the time taken during this cell cycle is known as generation time. Okay? So, we can say that a time required for this division, a time required for a complete cell cycle is called as a generation time. Now children, different different organisms may take place at different different time for their cell cycle. For example, in case of eukaryotic cells, it may take 24 hours to 30 hours for a complete division. But in case of prokaryotic cells, they may take 20 minutes or half an hour for the division. And that's why you must be knowing nowadays we all are suffering from the COVID-19. Now this virus enters into the body and within few minutes it starts multiplying and developing. That's why we are unable to detect its main cause as well as we are not able to control its growth. Because its multiplication time is very short. But in case of eukaryotic cell, it may take 24 hours to 30 hours for the complete division and that is our generation time. Now, let us start with the phases of the cell cycle. We can divide the phase of the cell cycle into two. That is, one is called as interphase and second division is M phase that is also called as multiplication phase or division phase. Earlier interphase was called as the resting phase. Most of the scientists they were treating this interface as the rest phase because there was no division taking place in this. Most of the time it was not clear that how the interface worked and they used to think that this is the division phase where the division is visible. But later on we come to the conclusion that this interface is the most active phase. Most active phase. Actually, we call it as the preparatory phase. Where a cell prepares itself for the division. That is preparatory phase or the active phase. And then we come to the division phase. Now, this active phase can be divided into different phases. That is G1 phase, S phase. And G2 phase. This we will see in a cell cycle. And this division phase 
or multiplication phase can be further divided into two. One is called as karyokinesis and second one is called as cytokinesis. The meaning of karyokinesis, the meaning of karyo is nucleus and kinesis is splitting. So the splitting of nucleus, I can write it like this. Splitting of nucleus is called as karyokinesis and splitting of cytoplasm is called as the cytokinesis. Now let us start with the interface. Stop. Let us start with a interface. Interface can be divided in three parts. One is G1 phase. This is also called as gap 1 phase. Then S phase. It is also called as synthesis phase. And then gap 2 phase. Now, in case of interphase, all the phases prepare something for the next phase. So this is the basic meaning of all the phases. Like G1 phase prepare itself for the synthesis phase. Synthesis phase prepare for the G2 phase. And G2 phase prepare for the multiplication phase or the division phase. Now, if we draw a cell cycle, then you can see if it is a cell cycle, then this is a small M phase or we can call it as a division phase. This small portion is the division phase and suppose one cell is here, okay, and the whole that is from here till here, it is called as interface. And that's why the interface is having the longest period of time. If a eukaryotic cell multiplies after 30 hours, then all the 28 to 29 hours will be for interface and only one hour will be for the division phase. So, we can write down the time duration also. This multiplication phase is for 1 hour. Now, this is our G1 phase. And this is for 11 hours. This is our synthesis phase, that is S phase. And this is for 7 hours. Now, this is G2 phase and this is for 3 hours. In each phase, all the G1, S and G2, they will prepare for the next phase. Now see, the meaning of S phase, synthesis phase, is simple. That is synthesizing. What has to be synthesized for a cell? Nothing, only DNA. Because DNA is that genetic material that transmits all the gen genetic code, all the characters from one generation to the another. So, here the DNA will get replication, replicated. And now, this GN, G1 phase, it will prepare the raw material for the synthesis phase. And this G2 phase will prepare itself for the multiplication phase. In case of DNA replication, that is in case of S phase or synthesis phase, the DNA get replicated. Or suppose, let me give you one example students. Suppose if two of you are sitting in front of me and I have some information to give you. And I have written all the information on a sheet of paper and I wish that you two should get all the information. Okay. Now what will I do? I will have two options. One is I can tear a page 
and give you the sheet so that you can get the information. Second option I have that I can make a photocopy of the page and then I can give you so that you too can get the information. Now, by what method you too will get all the information? I think so by second method. Because if I tear the page, then definitely you too will get the information, but the information will be half. Okay, so what is the best way for me to make a photocopy of that page and just to give it to you so that you too can have all the information. The same thing happens in case of S phase. Here, the DNA duplicate itself. So that whenever there is a formation of the new cell, the new cell, the new daughter cells must have all the genetic property, all the characteristic of their parent cell. Now, for the preparation of the DNA, we need something. We need some raw material that we will discuss in the next chapter or whenever you will go in the higher classes there you will study that DNA is made up of some histone proteins, DNA is made up of some uh, different type of proteins and raw materials that we will see. Now see what happens. Suppose for the preparation of S phase for the DNA, we need something to be prepared in the G1 phase. So now we will see what will happen in case of G1 phase. The number one, there will be the formation of protein. Or we can say that the protein will synthesize in the G1 phase. First thing. Second thing. Along with the protein, now we all, uh, I don't know whether you know it or not, or uh, I'll teach you these things in the second or third chapter. This protein is made up of a material called as RNA, ribonucleic acid. This ribonucleic acid helps in the formation of protein. So definitely there will be the synthesis of RNA and protein so that it can convert to form our DNA in the S phase. Now see, if our cell is preparing something, it means it requires some energy and that's why it needs energy in the form of ATP. So we can write down ATP is required or energy in the form of ATP is required for the synthesis of protein and RNA. Now along with this, some more raw material is required for the S phase and that is prepared in the G1 phase. Now students just think, if our cell is under G1 phase and if it is preparing all these things, then definitely there will be growth and we can write down the cell grows in size. So all these events will take place in case of G1 phase. After that, let us see what happens in case of S phase. Now, as the name is there, this is S phase. So definitely DNA replication will be there. That is copying of the DNA. We can write down like this. Copying of DNA will take place in case of synthesis phase or S phase. Now, next point. If our eukaryotic cell is an animal cell, then Centriole will divide. Important point to note down. In case of plant cell, there is no centriole. But in case of animal cell, a centriole will divide. One more important point. Histone proteins will form. Now see, the meaning of histone protein is Histone proteins always form octomer. Now, one octomer, one octomer around by the DNA and then it forms a structure called
called as nucleosome. This word again we will see in detail in the chapter number 2, chromosome. But see, just basic thing, that is, histone proteins combine, they form octomer and it, these octomers will be wind up with the help of the DNA and then they will form one structure called as nucleosome which help in the formation of chromosomes. Now in this phase, chromosome unite and then it will form the chromatids. So, all these can be done in case of synthesis phase. Now, let us come to the G2 phase. In G2 phase, the cell will prepare itself for the multiplication phase or for the division phase. Then, we come to the M phase or the multiplication phase. Now, in case of multiplication phase, see what happens. Multiplication phase can be divided into four different forms. Four different phases. One is prophase, then metaphase, then anaphase and then telophase. So this division phase consists of four subphases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and finally there is cytokinesis. So children see, division phase consists of the two part. One is karyokinesis and second part is cytokinesis. Karyokinesis consists of the four subphases. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And cytokinesis means division of cell. So this is all about a cell cycle. Let us revise the whole that I have taught you. One is cell cycle. That is when one cell grows and divides. Then the phase is called as the cell cycle. And the time is called as the generation period. Now in case of cell cycle we can divide the cell cycle into the two phases. Interphase and multiplication phase. Interphase is not the resting phase. It is the most active phase. Because one cell prepares itself for the division. This interphase can be divided into three phases. G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. G1 phase is the phase where a cell prepares for this S phase. In this only protein synthesize. In this only RNA gets synthesized. Then we come to the DNA replication phase where the DNA makes its own copy so that it can transmit all its information to the next generation. Then G2 phase prepare itself or it will start the division. Then we come to the division phase where it can be divided into two part karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis divides into or divided into different some phases that is prophase, metaphase, Enophase, telophase and finally then we come to the cytokinesis and hence what we get. Now with the help of one example. Suppose this is a single nucleated cell. Now what happens? The cell undergoes for the G1 phase. Here the cell will grow in size. The cell will undergo for the DNA replication at this stage. Okay. Now here the cell will start dividing. Then we come to the division phase where the cell will divide and then it will produce two daughter cell. This is, these are called as the two daughter cell. Now again these two daughter cell will continue their life. This is our cell cycle. Thank you students.